try to make my presentation in English, as I think that all the panelists are going to do so. It's going to be also a, a sign of solidarity with Charles Dard. Uh, that's going to make the effort also to switch on French to English. So let's see, let's see what happens. Uh, uh, we would like to focus on, and the, 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 we have been asked to focus on, let's say, architecture or building sector towards nature and uh, healthy, which are very, very linked. And uh, of course, we are going to talk about things that have been built or things that we want to build. So very special, very uh, specific things but also I think that uh, architecture, landscape and so on has to do not only, on, only with numbers or technique, but also with ideology of culture, uh, of wonder, which is a very strong uh, energy in this moment uh, in order to change uh, society or parts of society towards a new way of living. Uh, I will start to, uh, to make my presentation just to focus on some general aspects, but afterwards, as I told you, <clears throat> to focus on projects, re re real buildings, on projects we want to do. Uh, some of them maybe has a lot to do with some things that have been being talked during these days, but some others maybe are a little bit um, um, a little bit uh, reactive or a little bit that make, can make, uh, put things on the table in order to, to talk about. But, uh, of course, the first idea is that uh, our industrial society has a wonder to live in nature without transforming it, some sort of uh, real paradise that uh, we think that's something that our rules, our laws, our techniques is able to make this wild environment in something very friendly. Uh, I don't know if I can push next one. It's myself that can do it. Where is it? Ah, thank you. Fine, thank you. Next one, that's it. But our reality and landscape, it's not always the same. So we tend to transform our previous ground floor and transform it into some sort of mineral crust inside we live in. And tend to recover somewhere outside our relation with nature that has been pushed out. Uh, of course, <clears throat> uh, some people in history can afford to live in nature in some, let's say, some uh, monical way, but uh, our aim is uh, democracy, so how do we can live linking with nature, and the models that coming from these ideological ideas from the past are not always uh, the, best, uh, the best realities in order to link with this kind of nature. And that maybe there are some <clears throat> ways of building our cities and connecting our territory which are infrastructures, uh, that they might be not so fancy, not so um, nice, not so friendly, but uh, we can think about them in another terms. So the idea that this kind of infrastructure can be, can, can be the 
initial point, the, 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 the basis, in order that nature come up once again. So we can build nature, we can make, let nature germinate on this kind of infrastructure and reproduce it somehow in terms of intensity and urbanity. So it's not a way just to dealing in a romantic way with nature, but it's a way to reproduce, to germinate, to relation, and to maybe to restart uh, uh, how this nature comes once again into our cities, into our buildings. So this is one experience we finished about a couple of years ago. This is the city of Santa Coloma, close, quite close to here. This is a very dense uh, district. And we had to, at the beginning, we have to rebuild the ancient market uh, with this yellow, yellow print. And uh, we proposed to the municipality not just to uh, rebuild the market, but to focus on in density in that plot, a market, a supermarket, a kindergarten, and a library, which were the necessities of the municipality in that district. But they do not have land, municipal land, in order to develop it. And uh, to connect all the city to this kind of new program, so as that each one of the elements could be settled somehow in the ground floor. So we could have in the ground floor downstairs uh, the market, which is quite a lively place, uh, quite an intense place. But in the top, we have why the supermarket and we have the kindergarten, which is some sort of, let's say, program that uh, you, you have the ambience uh, and the scale of what happens in the outskirts of, the, of a city. So you have some, some, somehow, let's say, a small town or a relation with nature in the center of the city, in the center of the density, of the urban density. So that means that, another example. Uh, this is a proposal in order to make a campus for research linking to the uh, hospital or cancer hospital, which is in the way from the center to the airport. Of course, we could do some sort, which was a bit meant, some sort of campus with uh, artificial nature, with buildings surrounding it and so on. But we propose to build an infrastructure that host insights the conditions natural conditions that were needed in order to make research and relations inside the building, but then to present to the outside, this outside which is strong of uh, cars and railways and so on, to present this kind of artifact which is not nature, but an instrument in order to host nature inside. This is it's not used to that, and this kind of courtyards that going down um, this is the cross-section. The structure itself is able to produce part of, of the temperature and the natural conditions that are needed inside. The, the infrastructure itself, like PV panels connecting with the ground, uh, and, uh, the winter gardens, and so on. <clears throat> so as that the inside conditions of the building are some, somehow natural ones, uh, the, the proper conditions of sound, of light, of vegetation, in order to deal with the relationship of people, with the peacefulness of, for research and so on. Uh, though outside, this is some sort of ship that is linking, is dialoguing with the city and tries to give face 
uh, to this part of the city, uh, dealing with the velocity of cars and connecting uh, the airport with the center. So that means that it's some sort of uh, element that is, doesn't want to uh, look like uh, nature, but just to produce or to host nature in, inside it. This is also a bit the same idea. This is a, quite a very big building. We had the opportunity to build some years ago. This is a hospital in Reus, just up in the south. So the building is trying to build a city uh, to, at the end of the city and tries to start a new growth for the city. So it is uh, building the street. It has the, 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 the proportion of the, of the city, I mean city. Uh, though this is the idea is a big part of the host, ho hospital is underground. And uh, the big underground and the circle, this is the public part of the building. And there are some bars at the top that are hosting the, 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 the bedrooms where the people is in the living in the hospital. This is the idea. And this is the, the length of the rooms. You see in the top of the building, you have a garden and a new ground floor. So when somebody is spending two or three days in the hospital, his relationship is not with a big building. His relationship is with a community of a small garden. This is a ground floor for him. And we, we, I, I, I like to think that because of that, the, the, because this kind of relationship, the, 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 the stage of these people in the hospital and his wealthiness is going to be better and finally maybe his stays will be shorter. Uh, beside that, this is technology, a way that to store water just in the top of the roof and have uh, isolation and vegetation. So this kind of green part, it's always uh, wet because of the rainwater. And the down parts of the building uh, has not the radiation. The, the big amount of radiation we normally have, which is a very big problem in terms of heating here in the Mediterranean countries. And this is a view of the second ground floor, which is courtyards with some trees and so on. You have, the building has not to be so high, it's underneath. It keeps warm because of the contact with the land and with the light and the, the, the trees, you have the feeling of a relationship with a ground floor, though you are on the ground. This is maybe a, a, a domestic example uh, when the city is linking with nature, let's say nature, our central park whose name is Colcerola. We have a central park, which is nature, but uh, in, far, in, in, in fact, it's not, uh, um, it, it, it's quite wild, let's say, or quite untouched. Uh, so the city tries to uh, dissolve in this kind of uh, unifamiliar uh, typology, and uh, we propose a house that is not uh, is not facing nature, but it's trying to um, bring nature or uh, make past nature towards uh, Central Park to the city. So we build this kind of in, uh, this kind of roof, which store, which is a water tank and a green roof also, and downstairs we have. Um, we have the systems to, ha to have air conditioning, but just with the airflow and passing the air through the ground. So we try to, this kind of 
linking with nature and make this infrastructure, we can have basically the conditions in order to be able to live underneath. And we make so putting some kind of uh, prefabricated elements that are hosting rooms and toilets that can make that this kind of infrastructure can be easily um, um, livable. So this is, of course, this is just uh, a plot with uh, three houses. We would like to see it extended, but uh, this is anyway, this is just a prototype. No? We, see, we see the roof, which is um, going or pushing uh, green to the city, that you can use it is, is a garden itself. And underneath you have uh, the elements uh, um, that are the, the, the house with the green which is growing up at the beginning, the entrance. And we have these elements that are the, uh, the rooms with the toilets that are facing to the city. And these are some photographs of what's, what does it look like uh, just today. No? The, this kind of the, the green is jumping over and uh, we can have somehow the idea that we are living in nature or we are living linked to nature and because of that we can make this nature jump over the city. And finally, I would like to finish with this example, which is a refurbishment example of a, a, a military equipment in the city of Lerida, ancient uh, military buildings that uh, we recycled into, let's say, a, a research and um, 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 research and industrial um, uh, park for the city of Lerida linking with um, agroalimentario. So uh, I don't know how to say it, but uh, with the industry of uh, food and, um, and, um, and so on. So this, this is the idea of what we, what we found when we arrived. And a vision to think that maybe the city of the, 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 the temperature in Leyde is very very hard, so very uh, very cold in winter time, very hot in summer time. Though it's a very uh, very fertile uh, uh, ter, um, uh, plot in order to um, um, to bring out uh, fruits and and, and 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 so on. So. This was the three buildings, and we propose to cover, to link the three buildings with a winter garden, and to make the three buildings a whole one, and uh, that this works as a unique building, uh, creating in the middle, uh, let's say, a natural artificial uh, conditions of temperature with uh, with uh, its um, with the creation with this kind of winter gardens that were recycled from um, from the north of Europe, they came in. These were our winter gardens. We dismantle there and we bring them into Lerida. Hmm? Uh, so we can manage that this central part of the building is able to work as a winter garden and be able, this is in, win in summertime, everything is open, we have a airflow and the, the trees and uh, the shade and some water is able to manage to go down 10, degrees centigrade from the outside temperature to the inside. So the inside uh, offices were linking to, let's say, a more friendly uh, climate. 
Though in wintertime, we, everything is closed, we produce heat, and this heat is stored in the massive facades that are surrounding the courtyard. And of course, we have to do with, with, the, with, the, uh, with the water. Uh, the, the roof is a water tank from, for, the, for the hole. So in the center, <coughs> the, the, the nature and trees start to grow because the temperature conditions, natural temperature conditions were different. And all the facades, all the windows and life of these buildings giving to this courtyard started to be like some sort, I don't know, like in Costa Rica or whatever. Just by putting this kind of technology that is able to do so, to manage in a natural way the, uh, the, the, the temperature hmm, by uh, modeling the airflow, the, the radiation, and so on. So that's all for my part. Just wanted to say that, uh, of course, <clears throat> uh, our aim, I think, that uh, as architects, as citizens, we, are, we, are, we are aim to make uh, real interesting cities uh, to live. No, it's not a matter just to, uh, of efficiency in terms of energy or whatever. It's finally to make uh, surrounding places, interesting places where to live and where to develop. And uh, I think, we all are here, basically, more because of that. So thank you very much. <laughs>